welcome to bsc statistics students i discuss one more problem in the test for two proportions you see here whether it is test for two proportions or not we we see here see the problem a machine produces 16 defective bolts in a batch of 500 bolts a machine produces 6, 16 defective bolts in a batch of 500, 500 bolts. It's all that is if you consider 500 bolts, uh, emission is produces 16 defective bolts. If you consider one batch of uh, a batch of 500 bolts, this is the data it revealed that 16 defective bolts uh, are there. And uh, continue reading after the mission is overhauled. That is, it is uh, uh, completely overhauled. It produces three defective bolts in a batch of 100 bolts. It produces three defective bolts in a batch of 100 bolts. So, there are two particular samples, it is clearly visible. Before overhauled, uh, how many number of defective items uh, uh, are producing by emission? in a batch of 500 and similarly after in, after overhauled how many number of defective items uh, defective bolts uh, are producing by the mission in a batch of uh, 100 bolts this is the data so therefore clearly we can understand that uh, it is a problem of two samples it is a problem of two samples now we see which particular test it is proportion or mean or uh, uh, stand deviation etc so there is a there is a clear data it is visible it is clearly visible we can easily observe that 500 bolts are taken out of which 1600 bolts are defective items defective bolts that is uh, this is if you consider x this is n so it is a it is a test of proportion similarly three defective bolts occurs in a batch of one, 100 bolts. So, it is proportionate number of bolts, defective bolts are given in a sample of uh, sample number of bolts. Therefore, it is a test for proportion. Hope you understand. The question is, has the mission improved after overhauling? Has the mission improved? That is our question. After overhauling, as the mission is, is the mission improved or not? Whether the mission is improved or not? That is our question. Hope you understand. The given data is N1 is equal to 500, X1 is equal to 16, N2 is equal to 100, X2 is equal to 3. That is all. So, calculate sample proportion of defective items, small p1, X1 by N1. 16 by 500 0 0.00 0 0.032 so right nice similarly p2 x2 by n2 3 by 100 0 0.03 so these are the p1 p2 small p1 p2 values now what is the case p is known capital p is known or not known capital p is not given so therefore it is not known and it is going to be estimated by p cron is equal to x1 plus x2 by n1 plus n2 16 plus 3 divided by 500 plus 100 it is something 19 by 600 calculated 0 0.0317 so and then come to the calculate uh, q cron it is 1 minus p cron 0 0.9686 now come to the four important points you have to do null hypothesis alternative hypothesis test the strategy under h naught and comparison and conclusion the first point null hypothesis H naught, P1 is equal to P2 is equal to P. In which, uh, what is uh, that statement you have to test? Has the mission improved? Has the mission improved? We have to consider, no, mission has not improved. Why? The null hypothesis should not specify, should not speak any kind of partial statement. Whether it is improved or not, uh, whether it is improved uh, or whether it is increased or decreased, that is should that should not be taken place in the null hypothesis. Null hypothesis where 
we should consider an impartial statement that is uh, always we have to consider p1 is equal to p2 is equal to statement here in the null hypothesis. That is the reason why we have considered mission has not improved. The condition is same. Mission has not improved. Even after overhauling, the mission has not improved. That is our statement in the null hypothesis. Because null hypothesis attitude is null attitude. No difference. Even before overhauling and after overhauling, mission has no difference. That is the meaning we have to consider. Mission has not improved. Alternative hypothesis. H1, P1 greater than P2. Why? In the second population, you see here, P1 refers first population. P2 refers second population. P1, capital P1, number of defectives. Capital P2, number of defectives in the second population. Now, the statement is mission has improved. Mission has uh, improved means uh, the number of defectives, defective volts uh, must be less in the whichever the after overhauling the mission, the whichever uh, uh, the second part that is second population, it refers to number of less number of defective items. Then only we can specify that we can say that mission has improved. Otherwise, the, the number of defective items are more then how can you specify mission is improved? We cannot. Therefore, mission has improved means, means, this means in the second population that is refers to the second sample, the number of defective items, that is number of defective bolts are less, are decreased. Number of defective bolts are proportionate number of defective items are decreased. That is going to be specified. That is the reason why P1 greater than P2. That is P2 less than P1. P2 is always a less number of defective items. Less number of proportionate defective items. P2. That is P2 less than P1. That is P1 greater than P2. That is the statement is given here. That is mission has improved. We can also specify P2 less than P1. That is also we can specify. This is one tile test because less than. So next third point test statistic under H0. This is Z is equal to formula. This is the case where capital P is not known. That is going to be estimated. Already we have calculated. So therefore P cron yeah, Z is equal to P1 minus P2 small P1 minus small P2 divided by square root of P cron into Q cron into 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 which follows n01 that is equivalent to be substitute the value small p1 0 0.032 small p2 minus 0 0.03 divided by square root of p cron 0 0.0317 q cron 0 0.9683 multiplied by 1 by n1 500 plus 1 by n2 100 calculate this value we will get some 0 0.1042 you calculate the value and the fourth point is comparison and conclusion fourth point is comparison and conclusion in which you have to calculate first modulus of z if it is a negative you have to consider modulus value that is positive so modulus of z is equal to 0 0.0 0 0.1042 and z alpha it is a tabulated value or calculated or uh, significant value. So, significant value of Z, Z alpha is going to be obtained at 5% level of significance because level of significance is not given in the problem. Hence, we have to, we have to consider 5% level. And for one tile test, because uh, alternative hypothesis, refer alternative here only, it is one tile test, it is greater than one tile test. That is for one tile test. From the standard normal tables, at 5% level of significance and for one tile test, the tabulated value is 1.645. That is Z alpha is equal to 1.645. There you see the com compare these values. 0 0.1042 is less than 1.645. Therefore, modulus of Z is less than Z alpha. That is H0 is going to be accepted. That is H0 is accepted, which means H0 is 
mission has not improved that is even after overhauling the mission after mission is overhauled the mission has not improved the proportionate number of defective items are not decreased the proportionate number of defective items are not decreased therefore we can give our statement conclusion that mission has not improved h not is accepted mission has not improved thank you